Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. We're here with my dad, AKA the Home Handyman. And today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at the four and a half inch cordless angle grinder from Hercules. This is the 20 volt. However, the charger that you would buy for the battery that this takes does do the 12 and 20 volt. Yes, it does both, go figure. There's still questions about this in the review. I'm not really sure how that's even a thing because it says 12 slash 20 on the box. In fact, let me grab it real quick. 20 volt and 12 volt. So why would you ever want a cordless option? Well, sometimes it's just inconvenient to have a corded version, okay? Now I have the Hercules 110 volt version and I've been using it for a little while now. I think what, pretty close to about a year for various little welding projects. My dad also has one, which he'll go ahead and pull up and show you here. There's gonna be a couple of differences between the 110 volt and the cordless. So on his 110, it's the same exact one that I have if we just unspool the wire real quick. First thing you're gonna notice right out the get-go is that this one has the paddle style trigger. This one on the Hercules cordless option though, you'll see has the typical push to lock button that's gonna stay on constant as you're grinding. So what all does it come with? Well, of course you get your safety handle here, right? For more stability and, and more control over the tool itself. You have your locking tool so you can lock down the disc. They do give you one grinding disc that goes with it. This is a five inch by one quarter by seven eighths, but you can go down to a four and a half inch, which means you can use sanding discs or you can use a grinding disc or you can use a cutoff blade. Harbor Freight has a lot of consumable options for you in this aspect if you wanted to get the paddle sanders, the grinder, uh, the grinding wheels, or the cutoff wheels. I'm not a huge fan of the actual Pittsburgh or Chicago electric cutoff wheels and discs. They just seem to burn up too quick, but I am curious to see how well the Hercules discs hold up over time. Maybe my dad has had some experience utilizing other disc options uh, than Chicago Electric. Dad, go ahead and uh, take it away. It's nice that they go ahead and include this and it'll work and it works okay. Um, I still have a lot of these abrasive wheels, but I prefer flap discs, okay, because I just like the finishes. You can get them in 40 grit, 60 grit, 80 grit, 120, you know, whatever you want. And I have a whole assortment of them and I get mine from Benchmark Abrasives. Um, they are an excellent supplier of good quality, you know, zirconia discs. So it's just what I prefer, but a lot of people like these. It's nice that they included it along with the kit. Not included in the kit, it's gonna probably be that battery and that charger. It's gonna cost you additional, but I would tell you to definitely get that five amp hour one, the 20 volt. A little pricey, but you know, it'll go on sale or you can use your coupons. Charger, fast charger according to what I read. There's not a whole lot critiques out there on the product so we're gonna go ahead and do the video we'll put it through the motions and I'll give you an idea in comparison to the corded one of course I expect the corded one is probably gonna to seem to be a more powerful or last longer but we'll see this is a new product let's give it a whirl now the other thing is it's nice and it's lightweight okay and it's very portable um, so the battery on there let's see how, how it feels with the battery Yeah, it's a little heavier because you got that more heavy duty battery in here, but for being portable and having to get out somewhere without, you know, draping out 200 feet of extension cord, hopefully this works out real well. We're about to find out pretty soon because Justin is going to fire up that titanium 45 amp plasma cutter. We're going to cut out a couple of these coca pelli things and then we're going to go ahead and use this on the surface and on the edges. We'll see how it does and we'll give you an opinion on the abrasive wheel at the same time. Before we get into all that, we're going to talk about this charger real quick. So on here, uh, it's going to show a solid state line and a hashed or blinking green line. That shows that the battery is actually charging itself. When the battery is completely charged, of course the red light will go completely out and the green light will stay on solid. If you have a heating or a cold uh, temperature delay, you're going to see flashes from both the red and green. Uh, which might be either A, a delay in charge, or maybe it's not gonna charge at all. You have another one here where it's just uh, dotted red, which means just the red light's flashing, and that means there's a problem with either the battery or the charger, the charge station itself. We're gonna talk about a couple things here that I've kinda got some curiosity about. One, because 
Uh, my dad does have the 110 and you can see that he has his uh, deflector shield for sparks located in the bottom position. Would like to know uh, the ease of adjustment is going to be about the same between this one to the cordless version, but would want to know what direction, why you have it in this direction, do you like using it in other directions, uh, what makes this direction so much more, uh, I go, more user friendly for you. Okay, on either one, I set that guard, okay, for the deflection, obviously, of whatever you're grinding, let's say steel. If I start to grind and the sparks are coming back at me, I stop. This is a quick setting thing. You just release this position and lock it back down and keep going. And that way those sparks are diverted away from you. So the one thing I like is how quick this is because I've got some of the older DeWalt's where I actually have to use a screw on the side, loosen it up, move it, tighten it back down, use it, loosen it up, and keep moving it around. Where this is like just you flip this switch right here it swivels to wherever you want it, lock it back down, you're good to go. A lot of people take the guard off, it's kind of dangerous and kind of foolish. It's on there for a reason and it's on there to help protect you. So I leave it on. This makes it a little bit easier to move it out of your way and you position it however you want for your own safety. Okay, another thing I want to talk about here, like I said, there was a couple things. The other question that I had is also going to come down to comfortability. Okay, because on the 110 version you can see it's a bit shorter as far as the handle goes but it's also a bit thicker now this might not be an issue for people that have large hands but for smaller hands might be a little bit discomforting and I've never overall been a huge fan of the paddle switch I really like what Hercules has done here with moving away from the paddle switch and going into a solid state uh, just push up shove up stays on yeah, nice. kind of a button but the other thing that I kind of like, and I wonder if my dad does too, is that the actual uh, handle itself is of a lower or smaller diameter profile. Well, what do you think about the comfortability? What do you think about the paddle over the other version? This one is more comfortable to use. It's easier to put your hand around than this one, like he said, with the paddle switch and the little safety trigger there. Um, I like both of these so far. This one we haven't demoed yet, but I like the feel of it. This one here is the one that I use all of the time. And this is a damn good little four and a half inch grinder. I mean, so, I mean, I do like it. Another thing is, have you ran into any situations that you wish that you really didn't have to drag cord everywhere where a cordless option, if this one holds up through some testing, because not just an initial testing, which we're doing here in today's video, but further testing because I'm planning on leaving this tool with my dad because he does a lot of little DIY at home welding projects. I think he's going to get more use out of it and can also critique it a little bit better as far as uh, how long does it hold up or how long can you run it for based on the amperage battery that it has, how long does it take to charge, etc. A lot of these questions I'm sure you guys are going to have, you need to go over to his channel and when he actually gets time to put this through the paces, he'll go back through and answer some of those questions through coffee and questions. But one of the things that I do like that Hercules has done, much like some of the other companies out there, and I know a lot of other guys do like this, is that it has a fuel indicator on the back side of the battery just tells you how much battery life is left. But how useful is it to have a cordless option versus the 110? For me, it depends. If you're going to go to the backyard up on the roof or you need to be mobile because it's what you do for a living, this is nice. Keep it charged. I would tell you get two of these, two batteries. That way you have a backup We'll see how long this one lasts and how it holds up. But two batteries is nice. On my cordless drills and stuff, I've always got two batteries. So that would be my first tip to you, and we'll see how this works. Now, I do mostly everything DIY home hobbyist because I work in the medical field and I don't do this for a living, but I love corded power tools over cordless. But we'll see. This is their new product. We'll see how it stands up. So for me personally, I like the corded and I use them a lot, but I do have, like I said, the cordless drill. But we'll demo this and we'll see. It might be I'll change my mind going forward. Brief coverage on cost before we go ahead and dive right on into messing around with it over here on the table and then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Okay, so cost for the charger, you're looking at $65 plus or minus tax depending on if you live in a taxable state. For the battery itself, if you were to get the 5 amp hour 20 volt, and I'll put a picture down here, you're looking at about 30 bucks. So let's just call it 100 bucks for one battery, one charger. The tool itself comes in at $99.99. It is a new brushless technology, so maybe that price will go down. It's still so new, there's probably not a coupon out for it just yet. 
but just wait because Black Friday sales are coming up, Christmas sales are coming up, and they always have a parking lot sale which might actually knock it down a little bit more. Going over to the Hercules 110 volt, gonna come in at around $65, again, plus or minus tax. So there is your price difference between the corded and the cordless version. You're looking at about 200 for one complete unit versus the 65 for basically a complete unit, right? But one's cordless, one's corded. Yep. And again, it really depends on what it is that you're using it for and what conditions you're gonna be using them under. Like he said, whether you're on a roof or you're taking it to a quick job site just to grind or cut something off real quick and give it a quick weld. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to the welding bench now, kind of goof off a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and wrap it up with our final thoughts of, as far as how we feel about the cordless version. And then I'm gonna leave it with my dad and he'll play with it and see right, what he and thinks. I'll, and I'll give you an honest opinion on it. I'm gonna throw in one more tip for all of you. On the 13th of October from 9 p.m. Pacific time, which will be midnight Eastern time, that's when Prime Day starts. Go over to my channel, take a look. I just put up a posting this morning giving you tips and tricks on how to get the maximum out of Prime Day. And there are some bonuses that Amazon has put on there in regards to products right now as a teaser that are out there. They won't drop any more than Prime Day, but they're giving you Prime Day pricing right now two days ahead of time. You'll have to go look at the video. There's only like three products or so, but if you use Amazon Assistant and I tell you how to set it up, I tell you how to use it, you'll be notified and there's lots of good tips. You've got two days to do this. Everything I'm telling you is free of charge. No reason not to go look at it. Create wish list like I tell you to do, blah, 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 do this, you'll save yourself a lot of money in a couple days. Okay. Cool, cool. So I'll put his channel link down in the description. We're jumping over on over to the table. We're going to do a couple of cutouts of, what are they called again? Uh, Coca Pelli, kind of, they're... Aztec. Kind of like, yeah, well, yeah, they are Anastasi. They're Anastasi relic type things that were found on cave walls. They call them Coca Pelli. They were say, well, what are they? Well, they're these mischievous little people that run around with musical instruments, I guess annoying people or whatever they were doing. But they are kind of cool looking little figurines. I have neighbors and friends that got interested. Hey, can you make me one? Hey, can you make me one? And I charge them not a lot of money, but enough to get, you know, things back. And then pretty soon you'll start making more and more and they're easier to do if you got a plasma cutter. And that's what we're going to do today. And he's going to take them home with him for the wife. But it gives us something to test out the plasma cutter one more time on and this new angle grinder, the cordless versus the corded. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Rock and roll. So we did get a chance to try out this cordless grinder from Hercules. I uh, haven't got a chance to put it through all the paces as I stated earlier in the video. And that's why I'm leaving it with my dad so he can get full use out of it and let you guys know what the overall runtime is realistically because in the real world, okay, it looks a lot different than on paper. But now let's talk about this for a minute. So we have the two Cocopelli guys that we did with uh, a little bit of slag, not a lot, right? Just a little bit. But we decided to use the grinding wheel to show you the difference between it and an abrasive sanding wheel. What is this, 32 grit? 40. 40 grit. 40 grit. All right, so we had 40 grit, which is what he used to sand this one down with, and this grinding disc that Harbor Freight sent us with the Hercules. And you can see the difference, right? So one's a little bit more rough, a little bit more abrasive than the other one. Other one's pretty polished, smooth. I mean, you, you can almost call it finished, really, but we can also go higher in uh, grit to change the smoothness of it. So if you really wanted to polish, you can go up to what, 200? Um, I don't know if you can go that high. I know you can go to 120. 120. I know that for sure. Now, I prefer these, like he said, okay? 
I'm using sheet metal. If you had some nasty, really corroded, cruddy kind of junk metal you want to clean up, I, that's why I still have a few abrasive wheels. I'll use those first, and they give you this super coarse, scratched up look, but it gets all that crap off of their fairly decent speed. Then I come back with my flap wheels and I start to polish it up. You can actually get it incredibly shiny by going 40, 80, 120 if you want to go that route. I rarely do that, but you can. Otherwise, these come in real handy, so them giving it to you along with that cordless grinder is a good thing. I mean, even if you don't use it right away and you're using flap wheels, you can always use this when you have something that's a really crummy project that you need to grind on. One thing I will say is while I was using it is I felt like it was really well balanced. Of course, my dad hasn't had a chance to use it yet, but he definitely will. Uh, I will say when it comes to the slag, so if you're welding, there's going to be more times during your welding project, I would say you'd probably need the grinding wheel at least 40% of the time and then mm -hmm. a sanding wheel for at least 60% uh, of the time because the slag is so thick from your welds. If you're really trying to smooth them out and cover it with paint, you will be there forever using sandpaper like yeah, a flap will. disc. So that's when you're going to want to use the grinding wheel a lot more than a sanding disc. But he's absolutely right. When it comes to this small sheet metal stuff with what little slag that the plasma cutter actually gave us here, you can see why one will be more beneficial over the other one. Before we wrap it up, I want to give a huge shout out to those guys over at Harbor Freight that sent the Hercules cordless grinder out to me and my dad to demo and try out. He's going to do a more in-depth, more involved video review other than the little unboxing and brief discussion that we did here today. But I think it's a cool tool. I think it's got some torque. I think it's very well balanced. Of course, time tells all, and we will find out in time just how well this thing stacks up to some of the other brands that I've tried out in the past. The only cordless grinder that I've actually used from my past was an iCAD DeWalt. And let's not even really talk about that, right? Yeah. Five, five minutes worth of runtime, the thing was garbage. But this is lithium, right? This is lithium, this is 20 volt, this is newer technology. I think we can expect good things from this. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up with this, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching my channel. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we do another video together. Make sure you hit the like button if you like today's content. The thumbs down if you didn't. Share if you want to share. Make sure to subscribe to my dad and be looking for the next video installment of the Hercules Cordless Grinder. I will put his channel link down in the description. Thanks as always for watching. Cheers. Dad, and you want to wrap it up? One last thing. Head over to my channel. Watch the Amazon Prime Day review. It will help you a lot. Thank you. All right, folks. And deuces.